Hello everyone, I am Ms. Pink, and welcome to The Long Dark. Uh, this is not going to be a series, this is just going to be for fun, we're going into the sandbox. Uh, it has been exactly, well not exactly, but slightly over two months since I last played this game, so obviously there is a lot of differences. Uh, you are an explorer, an equal parts hunter, and the hunted. The world would not give you anything freely, but you'll find that with time you can master it. For players who are looking, looking for a reasonably challenging exploration survival experience, but not a punishing one. Note, all tunneling values are alpha, and many will likely change over the time. Uh, Pilgrim, Stalker, uh, you're one of the, uh, for players who are more interested in pensive exploration and harrowing survival, wildlife will not attack you. I'm going to just choose Pilgrim so I can sort of reimmerse myself once again in just to see what's different for me. Again, it's been quite a long time. It started to fade away. Um, uh, hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Continue. I am a female. I tried playing Coastal Highway one time at the two months ago, whenever it was first added into it, but there were so many fucking wolves. But I know Mystery Lake the best, sort of. I've been around it quite a bit. So let's just go into this. Uh, a mysterious geomagnetic geoma storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? I have no idea. The longest I have survived was around 10 days, and that was on the normal, I guess you could call it normal setting or whatever. And it was probably a very high fluke that that happened. I can't even remember how I died. Uh, extraordinary people survive under the most terrible circumstances, and they... Da, 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 da. Uh, my sensitivity was way too high. Uh, let's, uh... Uh, there we go. <coughs> uh. Let's see, what's in our equipment right now? Uh... Basic stuff. Okay. <laughs> Uh, where are we? I don't know. Wildlife is not going to attack us, so I assume that I don't have to worry about the wolves. And I kind of just want to survive a little bit. Uh, this is, again, I think I've already said this before, but it's not going to be a long series thing. It's just a little tidbit. Uh, if you want me to make another the long, dark video... I uh, just like the video, and I will continue on because I know Ooh, I don't have anything to kill that deer. Uh, yeah. So I personally really like survival games. I just the idea of surviving with just your wits through this game. I have realized that I have no wit for surviving very well, <laughs> but I, uh, I think that area, I think I know that area, but I want to see what's, oh, I'll just go over to this area. Uh, I know you shouldn't really run all that much because it should increase your fatigue or kill your calories a lot faster or kill something very fast. I want to say it's either your fatigue or your calories. Um, one of those two that kills it with sprinting a lot. So I may do a lot of walking in this, sadly. Or short sprintings. Let's do a little test. Uh, yeah, just, I think it kind of just kills your calories and then it makes you more hungry. And then it's just, blah, blah, blah. blah. These are really different now that I think about it. I like Oh, it, the trees are different. That's really weird. Were they different? Uh, what uh, oh dear. I know I heard one thing before whenever I was looking up something or just kind of how to survive better in this game because I was really shitty at it. Um, what's over there? Oh, more deer. There's like some kind of secret bunker 
like full of stuff and things and stuff and it can be randomly generated I think but that was of course two months ago so I don't know if it's still there it's not supposed to kill me it's not supposed to kill me it's not supposed to kill me <gasps> oh I hate wolves so much Ooh, it's a little bunny rabbit it's a little bunny. Little bunny. Little bu Wait, bunnies are a thing now? Oh my god, there's actual bunnies! Ah! <laughs> That's so cool! Run away, little bunny. Ah! Sprint away. Okay, apparently I don't know this spot. I think there was something in the. Is that rock or a house? I can't fucking tell. This seems pretty different though. Uh, the rock seems a bit. It seems a little bit more differently textured. Hmm. Uh, some shadowy glitches, but that is normal. Uh, ooh! A little hut thingy. So, where am I? I don't know where I am. I kind of spawned in a very weird spot. I know a lot of people say creating a mental map of stuff or just a physical mapper. <gasps> come on, come on. There's a, there's a, come on, that ain't fair. I can't use it? Oh, I can't. I have to click it. That's really weird. Uh, so I sh should, by that logic, pick. Ah! I picked it up. Wait. I think what my issue is, uh, harvest repair, uh, options. There should be, uh, controls, control, uh, display, clock, pre-chewed, what is HUD? Uh, units. Oh, Imperial. Because I don't know the metric. Oh, oops. Deadfall area. Ooh, ooh, is there finally a map? Is there, is there, is there, is there, is, there, is, there, is, there, is there. Fuck! There's no map. God damn it. Because I remember that they had a specific, um, thingy for maps on the, whatchamacallit. Or maybe it already changed. There used to be a map thingy. An option for it. But then they got rid of it. Which really sucks. Oh, just for me, though. I'm sure a lot of people are like, Hey, it makes things harder. That's awesome. Make everything harder. Because I need a challenge in life. Well, sometimes you just need a little leisure survival. I really need to find some place, though. I have, like... No food. Am I even back? Am I backtracking? No. Nah. Am I? Nah. God damn it. Am I? <sighs> Come on. I know whenever you first play by mechanics of early in game. Is there anything over there? Um. You would start off the first few- Uh, I'm near the train tracks! Fuck yeah! Oh, I know where I am now! Oh yeah! Okay, 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 okay. And back there, there should be at least one or two things for me to get. Ah, oh, finally, I know where I am. Fucking hell. I've spawned so far away from everything. There should be a thingy over here. These are not going to be very long videos. Uh, these are just for like little, little fun tidbits to watch. Oh, I know how I died whenever I survived for a little over 10 days. I was along the train track and it was nighttime. I had a rifle. There's a the little circly dot. I was looking for you before. Um, and I was just walking along this trail, I, actually, I was looking for food, or some food, or something. And I was coming from this spot, 
Was I looking for food? I can't remember. But I was just walking along and then a wolf was following me. Ah. But the long dark is really fun in my opinion. Um, I know there's another game, The Forest, that I refuse to play that on its normal mode because I uh, don't do well with scary. And generally, naturally surviving tends to be scary enough. And I know on the forest, they have a vegan mode, which is the only time that I would ever play the forest with. But sadly, it kind of cuts out the survival -y bits of it because it can be so easy to find food. While this game will fuck you over royally if you were not ooh knifey 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 I think I can use this oh yeah the girl who uh uh female shepherd she she voices this lady I remember I remember that fact searching ah ah so if you're kind of a slight fan of Mass Effect you would enjoy this a uh, little bit tidbit maybe at least just to hear her voice Oh right, you can't jump. Uh, things look a lot nicer now. I like it. Let's see if there's anything on this side. I need food. I probably wasted a lot of my time and and uh 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 uh. What the fuck? If only I could jump. If only I could jump. I'm probably going to die. This is how I die. First day. Ow. Anything on this side, please? Any dead bodies? This is the game where you wish there were tons of dead bodies, but you get very few. Er, yeah. Ugh. What time is it? Uh, it's... Oh, only 2 p.m. Okay. That's kind of good. <sighs> Sorry that this is kind of boring. Lou. Lou. But survival can be kind of boring in its own... Right. Uh, vulture thingies, birds tend to be there to tell you that there is a dead body for you to loot from. Uh, I know... I know that they hang over human bodies, but I can't remember if they hang over deer carcasses. I can't remember. I don't... Do they? I don't know! Uh, shoo doo doo time to go this way. Uh, is that railroad track right there? I'm trying to position my mouse. Right there. I wonder. I don't know. Uh, flu blue 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 flu blue blue blue. I already looted the corpse anyway, so I don't know why they're still there. Sometimes I like looking at my tracks. I don't know why. Do they ever fade away? I don't know. They don't seem like it. Uh, anything? It's kind of nice just uh just exploring this place a bit. And this will be a bit more calm knowing that wildlife shouldn't kill me. I don't know if I can really trust the settings because this is a really bitch of a game. Or, well, it can be a bit of a bitch. Dear, don't run away. One day I will kill you. Let me check out the, uh, uh, the, the, the hunting knife. I want to see how it, it's... Ooh, that is some good quality. Hot damn. I think you can use a hunting knife for uh, carving the carcasses off dead animals. I'm pretty sure that's what they are used for, so... Hmm. There should be something down that pathway. If my memory serves me right. Hope. Ah! Ah, what a great little tidbit for nothing to get done. But it's... Uh, my condition is still at 100%. I need food! Oh my god. 
but I'm kind of- I keep pressing escape. My fatigue hardly ever goes down, which is kind of weird. Oh, that's probably because of the setting that I chose. Uh, I think the, uh, cap- There's a fucking Canadian flag there now! <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. I remember once I got trapped in there, there was a wolfie right around here, and then a wolfie right around there. And that just really fucked me over sideways. But here's the log cabin. I love going here first. Uh, some people make this their base. Back door. Finally. Alright, time to loot this place. It's always so fucking dark in here. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Sometimes I just like, ooh, yay! Oh, ah, uh, yes. Uh, there's some things that you can sort of like rip apart to make uh, better wood, as far as I remember. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh, yeah. Uh, take these. Once when I was in here, there was a dead body. That was nice. Uh, ooh, gasoline. Or Best be prepared for anything. Jerry can. I think they are for. What are jerry cans for? I can't remember. I have to check every individual filing cabinet. This is. Wow, I should have played this game way more often. Or, I'm glad I chose the setting because there's a lot of shit! Uh, do do do. Boop. Take it. Uh, can opener. I remember whenever I was playing before, there was always like something like under these things. Crouching is your best. Herbal Probably useful. Herbal tea? What? A package of fragrant tea. The label promises restorative benefits and more restful. Five cups. Interesting. Uh, that is new to me. Uh, is there anything on the sides of here? Aha! Sody. Some sody pop. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. There's a thingy here. Okay. You always gotta check. Make sure. Time to go upstairs. The dead body was right. Oh, there you are, dead body! It always freaks me out whenever there's a dead body because you kind of expect it to be turning into a horror game or something like that, but no. Survival is just a horror in among itself. Search the drawers. With fucking nothing! Uh, anything under? Uh, check the cupboard. Never know. Could end up being useful. Oh, yeah. Uh, pain kill. Er, there we go. Uh, anything else? It is getting really windy. There. Nothing right there. Okay, uh, let's just check out our condition. Let's eat a little something. Since we have food to waste. Uh, sort by condition, and it'll be food and drink. Ooh, they put the bad stuff first. Good. Uh, let's eat the granola bar. I know it's kind of a waste. My general rule was always, for survival, wait until you're at around a thousand calories to eat anything. Uh, let's just drink some sody pop. So, uh, to not really waste anything too much. But I feel like with the uh, pilgrimage setting, I can kind of go on a wasteful spree. Uh, let's see. Let's check the time. It's only three. Well then, I'll end the episode here. Uh, and then we will, maybe, if, uh, you guys want to continue this, I'll explore all the little cabins that are around the lake. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you wish to see this continue. And I hope you all have a fan-tabulous day.